Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll talk about Azure Recovery Service Vault. Especially, I'll focus on virtual machine backup enabling using the Azure Recovery Service Vault. Let's understand why do we need a backup and what is the benefit of taking a data backup. See, for example, if there is some issue, if you want to restore your data, you need to have some copy of your backup, right? So that is the reason we need to have a backup as a restoration point or recovery point. In this video, I will focus on Azure Virtual Machines backup and restoration part. Primarily, I'll focus on backup for virtual machines. So I'll demonstrate how we can enable backup. I'll create one more video for restorations. So let's get started to virtual machine backup process and its details. Let's take an example that I create a VM01 virtual machine in the Azure portal and I'm looking to enable backup for my virtual machine. To enable backup, we need to have a service called Recovery Service Vault in the Azure portal. This is a service where we can store backup data like restoration points or recovery points of our virtual machine. So once after we create this service, we need to have backup policy. This backup policy is the one which will define when the backup should trigger and how many days the backup data should stay in your recovery service vault. So this is the mandatory option to enable backup. Once after we create recovery service vault and we create the backup policy, we can go ahead and enable the backup for our virtual machine. After that, restoration points or recovery points will be created in your recovery service vault. Let's do this entire thing in the Azure portal as a lab and understand the workflow in the Azure portal. Now we will perform the entire process in the Azure portal and we'll understand how we can enable backup for our virtual machine. We'll also understand how we can enable manual backup and how to verify those backup job status in the Azure portal. So let's get started. I'm in the Azure portal now. Let me show you how we can create recovery service vault. Search for recovery service vault. Once you uh, go to this recovery service vault blade, click on create button. Select the subscription where you want to create the VM. Then select the resource group. If you want to create, you can create a new resource group. Here I'm creating test-rg. I'm providing recovery service vault name as rsv-test. I'm selecting region as east US. I'm clicking on review plus create. Recovery service vault creation is as simple as this. So you don't need to worry what configurations I have to provide, what extra details I have to provide. So nothing is required. You can just provide these four details and click on this review plus create button. So this will deploy your recovery service vault. Once after the recovery service vault is created, I will show you how the recovery service vault will look like. So it will take few minutes to deploy. Now we can see the recovery service vault is created. I'm clicking on go to resource. In the recovery service vault, we can see the options called backup, enable site recovery. Recovery service vault is, is not only used for backup and restoration purpose, it is also used for site recovery options. Like if you want to replicate your resources to another region, you can use the site recovery option in recovery service vault. Now I'm going to click the option backup in the recovery service vault. Here you can see what type of workloads you can enable backup. Like you can enable backup for Azure, Azure Stack Hub, Azure Stack HCI, and on-premise resources. So for any one of these resources, we can enable backup. Here I'm going to select Azure, and then uh, you can see the sub options like virtual machines, Azure File Share, SAP HANA, and SQL. So I'm going to select virtual machine here, then I'll click on the backup option. So once I click on the backup option, it will give me some further details. Uh, like it will give me policy subtype, like you want standard or enhanced. So you can see the details under standard and enhanced, whichever you want, you can select that particular subtype. After that, you can see the backup policy in the down. Uh, in the backup policy, it is selected default policy. So as I mentioned, backup policy is the one which will define the backup frequency and the retention time. So by default, it is uh, mentioned in the above details. Now I'm going to click on add button. Once I click on the add button, 
it will give me the list of virtual machines which are there in my subscription in that particular region since i have not created any virtual machine it will show me there are no virtual machines so you can see there are no virtual machines that can be backed up in this world so i'll create one virtual machine in the subscription after that i will show you how to enable the backup so for now i'm going to close this options i'm going back to the home page to create one virtual machine in this azure portal i am selecting virtual machine blade in the virtual machine blade i'm clicking on create button it is going to provide me the virtual machine creation page we have already created our virtual machines uh, in our previous videos in my channel so here again i'm uh, going to create one virtual machine the virtual machine name is vm hyphen test hyphen 01 this is the vm name i'm providing and the region is to us availability options i'm giving no then i'm selecting an operating system windows 2019 data center my virtual machine vm size will be one cpu and 3.5 gb of memory then i'm providing username and password so this all details have demonstrated in my previous videos also if you want to watch them again even you can watch those videos here why i am explaining again about this uh, vm creation is in vm creation we have an option called management where you can enable backup like if i talk about the backup enabling part there are two types of backup enabling like if you want to enable backup for a virtual machine you can enable the backup before creating a VM, like when, while the time of creation of your VM, you can enable backup. Or the second option is after the VM creation, you can enable the backup. So for example, if you want to enable the backup while creating the VM itself, in the management blade, you will have an option called backup. See if I scroll down to the bottom of this management page, here you will see an option called backup. If you check on this box, enable backup, it will ask you to select recovery service fault and a backup policy. So with these settings, you can able to enable backup. Like you can create a new recovery service fault or you can select an existing recovery service fault. You can uh, select those details and then you can enable the backup. Since it is very easy, I want to go with the second option after creating VM, how we can enable the backup. So I'm going to uncheck this uh, enable backup option for now because i want to enable backup after vm creation so i'll uncheck this box after the vm creation i'll show you how to create the or how to enable the backup for the virtual machine so i'm going to click on create button so the virtual machine will be created so i'm going to click on create so i'll skip this uh, vm creation part like uh, the time it is taking to provision the virtual machine so I'll skip this part and I'll take you to the page where the virtual machine is created. Now we can see the deployment is completed. I'll click on the go to resource option, which will take me to the virtual machine blade. Once after I go to the virtual machine blade, I'll show you how to enable the backup. So I'm clicking on go to resource, which is taking me to the virtual machine blade. Here I'm going to the backup option. I'll click on the backup option, which is available on the screen then it will show me the page something like this if you have not enabled backup for your virtual machine it says welcome to azure backup for your azure vms here you can select create new or select existing recovery service fault since i have existing recovery service fault i selected uh, rsv hyphen test i am selecting a default policy if you want to create a new policy you can click on create new policy also or if you want to go with default policy you can go with default policy up to your requirement here you can see default policy it is having daily frequency 10 pm utc and retention as 30 days retain uh, instances recovery two days now i'm going to change this configuration in the backup policy i'll create one new backup policy i'll click on create a new backup policy now here in the backup policy name i'll provide the name as vm hyphen daily hyphen backup so this is the policy name which i'm providing Backup schedule, I'm selecting daily frequency and 12 a.m. UTC plus 530 is the time zone which I'm selecting here. So this will be my backup frequency. Then instant restore, I'm providing it as 5 days. After that, retention range, I'm giving it as 90 days. 
down we have couple of options like if you want to retain for weekly if you want to retain for monthly if you want to retain for yearly even you can enable these options and you can set the retention time for these options also like if you want to retain uh, for certain months you can enable retain for monthly backup and you can apply the changes since i'm going for a week uh, daily backup so i'm just selecting daily retention and i'm clicking on okay so once i click on okay you can see the changes in the screen it says backup policy as vm daily backup backup frequency as indian standard time 12 am 5 days instant restore and retention as 90 days so i'll go and click on this enable backup option if you are okay with this configuration so i'm clicking on enable backup so which will initialize the deployment that means it is going to enable backup for your virtual machine after some time if you come to this backup option you will see the screen little different you will not see the screen welcome to azure backup you will see a different page here because it is still enabling or if it is not enabled you will be able to see the screen once after the backup is enabled you will not see the same screen you will see a different screen so let's wait for this deployment to complete after the deployment completes i'll show you how the backup uh, page will be visible for us once the backup is enabled now you can see the backup is enabled if i just refresh the backup page you will see a new appearance in the backup page it says the backup is enabled backup recheck is passed and it says last backup status is uh, warning initial backup is pending since the backup policy is set for 12 am ist so it is waiting for this initial backup here we can enable or we can perform manual backup by clicking on backup now uh, so i'll go and click on this option backup now here after that i'll click on ok so it will trigger a manual backup job here so we have triggered a manual backup job uh, if you want to track the job details what is happening in the job like whether it is failed whether it is successful or whether it is in progress what you can do is you can go to this uh, view all jobs option which is visible on the screen if we click on view all jobs it will show you the list of jobs which are already completed which are in progress and which are failed like if you want to troubleshoot any issue you can click on view details and if there is any failure you can get the details here uh in the uh, i mean once it is completed or once it is failed or whatever happens here you will be able to see the details since it is in progress we are seeing the status as in progress only if it is failed it will give you information saying because of xyz reason this backup job is failed so like this uh, whatever we are getting in this backup job details based on that uh, error messages or uh, uh, based on that failure messages we will be able to troubleshoot this backup job issues now we can see the backup job is completed successfully whereas i can see the last backup status as successful here and there is one restoration point also created in the uh, restoration point options so like this we will be able to see multiple restoration points based on our backup policy uh, schedule like every day there will be one backup job which will trigger at 12 am ist as per our backup policy which will retain the snapshots for 90 days after 90 days it will remove the restoration points one by one so at any point of time it will keep 90 days of restoration points in our azure recovery service vault for our virtual machine in this video we majorly focused on azure virtual machines backup we explain how to enable backup for a virtual machine we explain the methods like while creating virtual machines we can enable or after creating virtual machines also we can enable backup and what are the components that are required to enable backup means recovery service vault and a backup policy how to configure them also we explained in this video in our next video we'll explain how to perform restoration from our restore points so that i'll explain in our next video and i'll upload the video in our channel cloud learner pro if you want to watch these videos you can subscribe to our channel so if you feel the information what i'm providing in this video are informative please do click on subscribe button you will be notified if i upload the next video on the restoration or any videos that i upload in my channel thank you so much